just hit that when he's okay. ready? Yeah, it's starting. Okay, ready? Yeah. All right. So here's our intestinal wall. You have three basic layers. You have the muscularis externa, you have the submucosa, and you have the mucosal layers. However, there's also a muscular layer right through the middle of this, and that is the muco muscularis mucosa. Yeah, that's the muscularis mucosa, so you have a muscle layer there. Now in your muscularis externa, you have two layers. You have the circular muscle, and you have the longitudinal muscles. Then outside you'll have the serous membrane, which is just like every other serous membrane everywhere else, where you're going to have a simple squamous epithelial, you're going to have your fibrous connective tissue. So it's just like your serous membrane everywhere else. So you don't have to worry too much about that. Mostly it's going to focus in here, though. Inside this, you have your individual villi, and this whole thing would line a plica um, in normal folds and structures, but you have your individual villi. Your microvilli is going to be on the edge of the cells, so you can't really see them on this model. This is going to be your malt, your mucosal-associated lymphoid tissue, also known as a pyres patch. So you definitely have to know about that guy. You have arteries coming in, veins going out, and you have lymph vessels going out as well. The lymph vessels connect in this green thing through the center of the through the center of the villi, and that's going to be a lacteal. And you have your arteries and veins around it. Um, this is just showing the connective tissue that's around the central area of vessels, and that's again surrounded and pierced by your capillary beds. This right here is an intestinal crypt. That's where a lot of the nutrients will fall in and they'll concentrate in here for absorption. So we get a lot from there as well. And I think that's it.